Hey, Comic Book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans, you're with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do another comic book review. And today's comic book review, everybody, is Jonathan Ross's and Ian Churchill's Revenge, issue number two. Now, this book is, yes, for mature readers. It's very explicit, uh, has a lot adult uh situations in here so again i do not recommend this for young viewers and for run young readers as well um this book definitely pushes the envelope to the extreme uh and it but it is a great story uh for uh, uh for people if you look past uh, some of the nudity and sexuality. This story is done very well here uh, by Jonathan Ross. Um, we can tell that Ian Churchill's art is, is beautiful in this uh, issue uh, or in this series so far. Everything he does is very detailed. Now, it's a very gory book, uh, but he, he puts a lot of detail. The layouts are done very well in this uh, particular series, and uh, he brings the characters to life. Um, it, it, every page is beautiful to look at. Uh, the man is is very artistically gifted. I enjoyed it. Like ex facial expressions right here uh, is is beautiful. Even the reflection off of the sunglasses, uh, you can see that he takes a lot of time in doing um, his artwork. And what makes this book so well done too? Again is the layouts, is the inkings, all, everything about it is, is a wonderful and beautiful book to look at. Very interesting. So what is the story about? Now I reviewed this at first issue on Comic Frontline and I loved it. Uh, so if you want to check out a review on issue one on Comic Frontline, go ahead and check that out. Uh, but the second issue, I wanted to buying it, wanted to see how good this one was. Let me just say this is this is just as good. Now, a story so far in brief is that there's a man here. His name is Griffin Frank. He is an old or aging um, movie star who recently did a reboot of uh, a movie called Revenge. And what happens is that it's a success. He gets all kinds of money. He's, his, his career is getting um, reinvigorated. And his wife, Candy, who is a porn star wife, uh, it basically uh, wants to set up Griffin Franks and take all his money for everything that he's worth and cause all this pain uh, for him because when he was younger, uh, he dated her mother. And uh, after they broke up, he left her out on the streets. Uh, she wound up dying and uh, her mother... Or, uh, the daughter could never forgive what Griffin Frank ever did. So he, she basically tracked him down, dated him, married him, and obviously she has a different name because she's an actress, a porn star, and uh, and wants revenge. So she conned him into going into this plastic surgery thing, and uh, he wound up getting his face removed, and his face now is on her boyfriend, and they're going to the lawyer to get this prenup. Uh, so she can have all the money with the boyfriend. So really interesting stuff here, how she's causing revenge. Now, in this particular issue, uh, it opens up with um, with Candy, which I don't want to show because it's too graphic, uh, talking to the doctor saying, keep him alive. You know, we need him alive just for insurance purposes. And the man is suffering. He's suffering in this tank. He got his face removed. Uh, he's hallucinating, going through all these things that... He's relived through his acting career, and he's just nuts right now. Uh, so you get to see uh, Candy and her boyfriend, who's wearing Griffin Frank's face, uh, going out, meeting paparazzi, you know, seeing all these types of things. And the boyfriend's, like, loving it, and she can't stand it. She kind of can't stand the guy because, really, there's a third party involved in all this, and this happens to be her girlfriend. So once this is all done and over with, uh, she's going to go on this cruise with her, her girlfriend. So the boyfriend's just uh, just being used. So there's all kinds of angles here going through. Uh, but the most thing that she's trying to get revenge on is, is to avenge her mother's death because of what Griffin Franks did to her mother. Now, Griffin Franks is suffering. Again, he's going through all these hallucinations. In his older age, he's trying to make up for things that, um, you know, that he did wrong in his past and whatnot. But he's just going crazy. And um, we find out that there's 
other people involved with his money and they know that something's not right that candy's using him for his money and um as the issue progresses we get to see griffin frank uh fight the pain that he's going through and he he, he comes alive in his tank uh basically by this drug that was injected by this guy that's he's like a little uh a midget guy or little person with horns on his head that you know it's all crazy uh but um What's it called? He comes back alive and all he has is revenge. He, he wants death to his wife because he knows that she's all behind this. Plus, at the same time, he's hallucinating. He's just completely lost it. Um, so in the end of this issue, uh, he winds up going to the doctor's house and um, winds up saying, I need I need to get revenge on her. You need to put a face back on my on me. And uh, what's it called? And, and I'm going to kick her ass. And he wants to put in this this face of this dog <laughs> that was on the side uh, that was his guard dog putting him on his on his head. Um, yeah, it's really interesting. I don't want to sit here and give everything away. You kind of have to read it to really get what I'm saying here. Um, it's it's a really weird and different type of story. It's like way out there, but I enjoyed it. I liked it for what it is. Um, I suggest you guys go out and pick it up. Read issue one, read issue two. When you get past all this graphic violence and some of the sexual stuff that they throw in here, it really is a pretty good story. Um, it's edgy, it, it's detailed art, and, and, and I like it uh, for that aspect of it. The sex I could do without, it's really not necessary, um, and the overdone graphic violence. But... It is great story, again, of what it provides here for its readers. Um, yeah, so, again, I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5. Kind of weird at the end with the dog face being put on his bear face uh, that was ripped off. But I guess you got to try to keep the guys, you know, alive. So we'll see where it goes. I'm going to give issue 3 a try. So, guys, give it a shot. Revenge. Give, uh, give it a shot here. And, again, the best thing about this book, though, is the artwork and uh, in and. You know, I don't know. We'll see. It's a little weird, but it is good. <laughs> so, guys, there you have it. There's my review on Revenge, issue number two. And into the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. And tell me if you're reading this crazy book. Take care, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.